John, you sat here last week after that game. You said, I need dogs. Show me who you are. Have you see any dogs tonight? Couple. We got a couple others that got to become those uh, those guys. Um, again, the post defense and digging was way better, wasn't it? Now what fell? Three point defense. And then you say, well, how much have you worked on it? Like some, but you know, but it. This was a great game. I said it before. A great game for us to play because I watched the tape. The things that they did perimeter wise. Um, I didn't expect them to make this many threes, like especially in a row. But, um, you know, second half they got 61 with a couple minutes to go, and all of a sudden you then do the same thing. Give up threes, don't bring in a ball, they make a layup. All of a sudden it's like the last game. They get eight points in the last minute. And so you're sitting there like, you know, but um, the one thing that this team is, we'll ride who's playing well. And then. The, you, if you're the next man up, you got to be ready. I thought Dante did great in the second half. And it, you, you'll say, well, he made shots. No. Did you see how he stayed in front and defended and he blocks a shot, he rebound, he fought. Then it's not just shooting. He, he threw one away, had, you know, that's fine because he was doing enough to fight, you could leave him in there. Um, our guards, they're probably going to play 30 minutes a game if they can stay out of foul trouble. Those two guards, they are. They just, they're better. CJ comes back, we'll have to see. Um, I thought Jacob played with more energy, more spirit than some of the other guys, which means I may not start him, but he's going to go in. And if he plays that way, that means you're playing less. Just how it is. Oscar hadn't practiced for, he, he, he was off about four days. Um, he was injured. And, um, I think it kind of showed. Second half, he played a little bit better, but first half, he was just out of sync. It wasn't with us. And John here in the second row. John, it looks like your guards are pretty good. Wheeler and Washington, they both had six assists apiece. They're good passers. How much more flexibility does that give you in terms of game plan and, and designing the offenses? Well, well then it's like, okay, we're, what, what do we do with the, this team? If those two are, are going to play 30 minutes a game, all right, what, what happens behind them? Um, I think what you're seeing is they're taking the leadership without me saying. <clears throat> I thought Severe defensively was ridiculous. And, but it's hard to play that way for 30 minutes and, or more. But he, he did it, and I thought Ty Ty did some good stuff. He missed a couple floaters that I would expect him to make. But look, you you got to give Miles credit again. I mean, to be up and you watch, here, here was my point, and I kept saying it. Are you watching the game? I'm in the huddle. They haven't made it too. Are you watching? So don't drive them off the line. So we're closing with our hands down. And then when he goes to shoot the three, we go like this. And as it goes over our hands, we go like that. And they make another three. And so that was, it was disappointing. Like you, you, you had to be sitting there watching. They are not gonna be, how many teams are gonna come in here knowing they gotta make 15 threes to beat us? There's gonna be teams that are gonna know. If we don't make enough threes, we can't beat them. The good news is we're shooting the ball better. So now, you know, but we, we, around the basket, I mean, we had the ball one foot and missed 10, got them blocked, missed shots. So they're, they must be in there watching ESPN talking about this game and they're in there. I told the coach, I said, you, this was a good game for us. I mean, you, you went right at us. Go ahead, Gary. Uh, in, in terms of Sabir, um, his pressure, I mean, what did he kind of tell those guys that when you all can push him out to the perimeter and keep him there for like several minutes? He was coaching in every huddle. He was coaching in every huddle. He was talking to guys. He was getting on guys. He was encouraging guys. Uh, Ty Ty was doing the same. Like they never, I, I walked in at halftime, everybody said, well, what'd you say? We're going to play games where someone's going to make this many threes. 
Now we got to come out and push out a little bit, and then you got to play well and continue. And we got to get stops back to back to back to back. Um, again, uh, we've hit two games where teams are shooting 49, 46. I mean, hopefully we're better defensively than we're showing right now. Go back to there here on the right. You're talking about trying to find Severe taking over the huddle. It sounds a little like uh, the empowerment you always talk about. Have you ever seen that this early in the season? Yeah, Tyler Eulis was that way. You know, he. Uh, uh, but but again, it can't be just two guys talking. You know, we we have to. Let me, let me tell you what's hard for players. Um, next man up. That's hard. And next man up is hard because if someone got it going in front of you, you're not going to get as many minutes. You're just not. And well, I then you go in and now you can't play because you you're not you don't understand the concept. And we don't even have CJ back yet. CJ's supposed to practice tomorrow for the first time in months. Um, it's the same when he gets his opportunity, it'll be, does he deserve more or less? May not be ready. But that's been a struggle for this team because you talk about depth, yeah. But what that means is when you go in, you're gonna either earn more minutes or less, just that's what it is. And so we're, I think we got, you know, a little bit of struggle there, but you got to grow up and be mature about it and know. So. I like to John, and then I'll come to the back to you. John, with this being one of your most experienced returning teams, are your expectations maybe a little bit too high? How important is it for you to do my well expectations on Tuesday? No, that's everybody else's expectation. I know where we are right now and how hard going forward not just Tuesday, after Tuesday, coming back here and having teams, you know, that are veteran teams that are good too. And so we're gonna have to play better. We have to have some post presence. You guys know what I say when you have no post presence. You gotta be able to throw it in there and get a couple easy baskets. So, you know, it's both defensively and offensively. Um, you gotta have gang rebounding to have a chance. I like the fact that we're flying that we're getting out and eventually you can wear people down. Um, but my expectations are let's get better tomorrow than we were tonight. Let's get better sat Sunday so and Monday so we go in with a good feeling. Now, will that be enough? I don't know. Well, Tuesday night be a good barometer for how you think can experience. No, because I can remember respond. I can remember we got beat bad in that game and came back and we're an Elite Eight team and if we made free throws would have been in the Final Four and could have won a national title. And, you know, whether it's, you know, early, you know, playing in that thing, but what it'll be is two teams, um, that'll be who's going to fight, who's going to come up with the balls, who's going to pass it quicker because, you know, you're going to have to do this together. But they get terrific, you know, obviously, they got one of the great coaches ever. It's his last season. And they got terrific players. The guys that came back are really good. The guys they've added are really good. Um, it'd be a hard game. But you know what? It's an exciting time. I'm just happy we're back and fans are in the stands and it's back to normal. The players are at my house. You know, we're able to be around each other. It's just, it's like back to normal. And this team has made unbelievable strides. But I'll say this, you, you're not going to be great at everything, and you don't know what you're weak at until you really start playing games. So last week it was, if you guarded a guy, you were an island. You were by yourself. It's in the last five minutes they showed it. In this game it shows, boy, you, you better have a better concept on how we're guarding threes. How about a simple fade screen? which we work on. Simple fade screen, and you hit into it, and the other guy doesn't go out, and they get three or four shots, made three of the four. So there's stuff that we show, but like I said, I'm not discouraged. 
um, probably not encouraged, but we're probably where we need to be right now. My issue is next man up. Can you play that way? Understand, because, you know. Guys, we're wrapping up two in the back. First thing, all right. A couple of the guys mentioned this week they feel like they're not going to overlook Miles, but it's a big tune up. Say it again. A couple of the guys said this week that this opportunity, not to overlook Miles, but it's an opportunity to tune up, get ready for Duke. What do you see out of your you know, team? They tuned us up. <laughs> Miles tuned us up. Right. What do you feel like and, uh, you see out of your team? And, you look, we'll practice tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday and get ready. I mean, there ain't a whole lot of, you know, what do we have to zero in on? I'll go back to the office tonight. I haven't started watching Duke tape yet, so I need to get something together. So we'll do film tomorrow morning about this game, walk through some stuff about this game, come back later in the day and we'll have our practice, have a practice on Sunday travel, practice on Monday, and we'll play when the lights go on. It's like the biggest game in a decade. The tickets are ridiculous. I mean, it's it's crazy. We're gonna, we go to the Knicks game on Sunday night. So I get to see Leon, Wes, and Kenny, and the guys, and our players, and uh, our team's gonna go and eat there and watch the game. And, um, you know, and then we, we play this game. It's right in the back. What is the one thing that you get, want your guys to take away from this pair of exhibition games? That you gotta be watching the game and knowing what's happening. Let's just say it's a screen to screen of play. If you walked in and you're watching it and it's hurting us, you know, we t you, you're all knowing this is hurting us. Let's talk as we're out there. Or a fade screen. You had to see that it happened four, five, six times. Um, and we were telling them at every huddle, if it's thrown over your head, just go run and guard them, even if it's not your main. So, but they, you know, like I said, they, uh, this is a good game. I mean, I, we should have rebounded better. We still, we have some guys that don't think it's their up. You know, like I thought Jacob and even Bryce went after one. Got an offensive rebound. You got to get some easy baskets. But that means you better be tough. You better be a dog. You better fight. It's hard to go in there. I'd rather just run back. You know, I go in there, I get hit, I get bumped. We just got to know, um, you know, how we got to play. and. But I thought it was pretty good. I mean, 23s, I think we could have shot a few more, especially the percentage we're shooting. Um, but, you know, it was what it was, so. I guess.